Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find some of the filters that are missing from Photoshop CS6, CC and CC2014. I'm also going to tell you about the filters that have been removed from Photoshop CC2014. If you're used to using filters inside Photoshop, you may have discovered in Photoshop CS6 CC and CC 2014 that some of your filter groups are missing from the filters menu. There are artistic groups of filters, there are brush strokes groups of filters and some others. Now these are all available from the filter gallery. I'm just going to click filter gallery and you'll see that the artistic group are here as are the sketch and texture groups as well as brush strokes but they're not available from the filter menu. Now there is a good reason for putting them back in the filters menu and I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to click here to convert this image for smart filters and I'm going to go and apply a filter to it. So I'm just going to press the letter D to set my default colors and let's go to filter filter gallery. I'm just going to click fit in view and let's go and select one of the sketch filters and I'll choose halftone pattern. Well, I think we can do a bit better than that. Let's go for a half tone dot pattern. And I'll click OK. And we'll go and get our layers palette by choosing window and then layers. Here in the layers palette, you can see that we've converted this image for smart filters and we have an option here or an indication here that a filter has been applied, but it just reads filter gallery. There's no indication as to what filter has been applied to the image. Now the situation is going to be different if we use a filter from the menu. Let's drag and drop this filter onto the trash can and let's go and get back the filter groups on the filters menu. We do that by choosing edit and then preferences. On the Mac you'll choose Photoshop and then preferences and we'll go to plugins. In the plugins dialog is an option here that reads show all filter gallery groups and names and we need to check that and click OK. If the groups don't appear automatically on your filter menu then you'll need to close and reopen Photoshop. Let's just select the photo here and now let's go and apply a filter to the image. This time let's choose an artistic filter. So I'll click artistic and well we'll choose paint dobs. And I'll use a large brush size. We just want it to be obvious what's happening here and I'll click OK. Now even though that filter used the filter gallery to run the filter, look and see this time what's happened. Instead of filter gallery appearing here, we have paint dobs appearing here. So the layers palette is telling us exactly what filter has been applied. And that is the case provided we apply the filter from starting from one of these options. And it doesn't really matter what option we start with. So if we start with brush strokes and choose crosshatch and get all the way here and determine that crosshatch is not the filter that we really wanted to apply, well we can open any of these filter options and choose that and then click OK. And here it reads graphic pen and paint dob. So it's actually reading off the type of filter that we applied to the image. But we have to start by selecting the filter from here. If we just go to the filter gallery to apply a filter, let's choose notepaper and click OK, then the layers menu will just read filter gallery. It doesn't matter what filter we've applied, it will always read filter gallery which is not giving us this visual feedback that tells us what sort of filter has been applied. So if you use filters in Photoshop, I think that you'll find it really useful to understand the difference between choosing a filter from this set of options and choosing it from the filter gallery and how to add those filter groups back in by choosing Edit Preferences or Photoshop Preferences and then Plugins and then set that option on. Now in Photoshop CC 2014 some other options are missing. 
If you open the Windows panel here and look at Extensions, you'll find that Mini Bridge and Cooler are gone from Photoshop CC 2014. In addition, the Oil Painting filter is gone from the filter menu here. Oil Paint is no longer available. The reason for this is that the Oil Paint filter is a legacy filter. It's what was left over from the Pixel Bender plug-in options that were available in earlier versions of Photoshop. In Photoshop CS6, Pixel Bender is no longer available as a plug-in, but the Oil Paint filter from Pixel Bender was added to Photoshop, but now in Photoshop CC 2014, it's gone. And part of the reason for that is that it uses some flash technology and Adobe is removing flash technology from Photoshop. That's the reason why Cooler and Mini Bridge also have gone from Photoshop CC 2014. Here I'm using Photoshop CC, so they're still available, but in 2014 they won't be available and there is no way to get them back. There are some options if you're on a Windows PC that will enable you to get some of the features of the oil paint filter back inside Photoshop, but these are external third-party applications and not from Adobe. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.